Welcome back to HRNHQ, where it is opening week of Saratoga, not just here, but everywhere. Racing fans enjoy a punt. Saratoga Springs will welcome race fans, horses, everybody to the Hollow Grounds of Saratoga Race Course. We welcome in Sarah Albadwi, and we love Derby Week. We love Breeders' Cup Week. This is right there with it. Everyone gets hyped for Saratoga. Of course, and Del Mar's coming up soon as well. Really getting into the summer racing. Colonial open today. You and I have both been watching. Yeah. Not exactly making money yet, but yeah. there's only a couple races. Yeah. We've We're got not even time. halfway home. Right. So Belmont ended, it and did. we had a spirited jockey duel, uh, at least in the win column, with Irad Ortiz just passing Dylan Davis late. Mm -hmm. Circumstantially, Irad missed a couple weeks, Derby week. He rides Preakness suspension definitely an opportunity for dylan i do not expect these two to be tussling for the jockey title at saratoga certainly irad will be involved but flavian pratt his brother jose luis Saez, probably tyler, has to be tyler yeah uh, tyler i would think would be the fifth choice but not impossible mm -hmm. and he rides for the right people too but the I don't really get into the jockey race thing, but at Saratoga, that's the one place, like with a lot of things, it means something. Right. Everybody wants that title at Saratoga. It means so much for your career going forward of what kind of business that you're going to get in the fall and for years to come, what kind of horses you're going to get going into the Breeders' Cup next year, Triple yeah, Crown two -year Trail, things like that. You want to be involved with those good connections. Make sure that you're riding for the right outfits. And I mean, credit to Dylan, great effort, won the last race, ended up messing up a couple <laughs> of my wagers because I, I was leaned with the title as uh, Irad was picking things up, but good end to the Belmont meet. And we have some Saratoga com uh, content coming out. We do, including uh, some look at the jockey and trainers for that matter. Mm -hmm. uh, our Secrets of Saratoga book will be out later this week, so make sure you check for that. Colonial will be out any minute now. Mm -hmm. And if you like and subscribe, you'll get all of this information as it comes out. And we discuss it on YouTube as well. And when you mentioned jockeys wanting to get in with the, the right outfits, I just realized that the social media sensation of calling something a fit is short for outfit. Just now. Just now. So a history breaking moment. Yes. In your youth slang. An, epi an epiphany. <laughs> like, oh, fit. Where did that come from? Yeah. Outfit. Exactly. So now I'm going to start saying, oh, Tyler's in with the right fits. Well, those jockey silks, <laughs> those are the fits. Exactly, because they're <laughs> owner specific, unlike in harness, where the drivers have their own silks. Wow. Yeah. And unlike um, a Cinnaboya, where it's the same it's color a, it's the as saddle towel, the saddle towel. Which so. I don't hate. I mean, part of the fun of an owner, I would think, would be designing your silks. Well, when they're not all the same color like some saddle towels for some races. Right. It's fine. Oh, yeah. No, and, and announcers, we know several ourselves, definitely like some variety among the silks mm -hmm. uh, as well, which the, the saddle towel colors would provide. That's all a big non sequitur. Who would you bet? Let's say it was even odds. Who would you bet for the title? With no harsh suspensions coming up, <laughs> I read. Really? I'd go with, I would go with Saez. Size again? I think part of it is we know Irad's going to ship. Tyler's probably going to miss a Saturday because he'll ride Churchill for a million day. Delmar, Monmouth, all this stuff going on. Saez feels like the one that's most likely to stay put most. And look, I mean, you hit, ride three or four more days than the others. That can add up. Absolutely. We saw that happen last year. So. Yes, but it's a very deep colony. And that's, in my mind, part of the fun because you can like a 20 or 30 to one and you're going to have one of the best jockeys aboard. Exactly. And for all the complaints about non-aggressive riding in <laughs> turf races, the talent in the jockey colony. It's there. The yeah. depth Second is, to none. Right. Insane. As is the quality of racing. I took it on the chin a little bit Sunday night. I made a snarky comment about the six pack. You make snarky comments all the time. Yeah, what but I, 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 did, I did feel bad. I, don't, I shouldn't have taken advantage of someone else's positive tweet to turn it into a negative. So apologies for that. But two-year-old racing is a very exciting part of Saratoga. The right. opening race, maybe what it lacks in depth could make up for in competitiveness. I have not handicapped it yet. I did see that David had two of the six horses below two to one on the morning line. So 
guessing there's some steam there. Uh, as there always is in these two-year-old races, that's part of the fun. But right. I enjoy um, handicapping them. Of course. And, I mean, if you break your maiden at Saratoga, you're highly thought of as yes. a two-year-old. That's all it takes. Right. We saw Jack Christopher do that last year on uh, Travis Day. Day. I was there. Really cool stuff. Mm. We'll see who comes out this year at Saratoga. You can join us Wednesday night. Wednesday night. We're going to be talking about Bringing opening it day. A little live stream. Yeah. Everybody's handicapping. So subscribe. Well, they won't then miss you'll it. Know, then you won't miss it. But yeah, we're going to go through the card, mm -hmm. have some fun, a little banter. The huge. Yeah. I'll be in a t-shirt fit. The fit? Yeah. Got the my, PJ fit? Got my live stream fit picked out. All right. Uh, but yeah, uh, I mean, it's it's a day, a Thursday. I mean, people are talking about it on social media, the live racing. Uh, I'm pretty excited for it. I'm excited to get there for Whitney weekend. This You'll is the first year that I haven't been there for opening day in a couple of years, mm -hmm. but being able to go at all, especially for such an exciting matchup, like we might see Whitney weekend, which oh, yeah. is good at Olympiad, totally worth it. And someone else, right? Well, Flintland's a maybe. Oh, so. he's not. No, yeah, he's, he's not. We'll I mean, maybe if they come with 5 million bucks. Uh, put up to get him in there. Yeah. Um, I mean, maybe. I would. I mean, if I were his connections, I wouldn't ship in for that. Just saying. It'll be exciting anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Undercard races. Right. Lenade. Meeting a couple of Twitter friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll be at the Hamiltonian. So <laughs> good times away. All right. So live stream Wednesday. Yes. Like this. Subscribe. And then you'll hear about it. Mm -hmm. And make sure you check out the Secrets to Saratoga book. That'll be out soon. I think that covers it. All right. We'll yeah. see you Wednesday.